What is going on guys? This is djb 3 Games and welcome to week 3 of the PBL, the Professional Battlers League. This week we are going up against Blazing Squids and his Toronto Totodile. We got a Canadian team this week. Uh, so if you guys missed last week, I got pretty much molly whopped by Garchomp. Link will be down in the description below. Make sure you guys go check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and go over what I am bringing this week and what I think Squid is going to be bringing. And then we will get connected with him and we will get this battle underway. So for my team, I am bringing Primarina. I'm bringing Infernape, Chansey, Nidoqueen, Hydreigon, as well as Swellow. And I think he's going to bring Thunderous T. Um, Silvalli, I think he's either going to go... I think he's most likely going to bring a Fairy type, Silvalli. Um, and then I think he's going to bring Diancie, Mew, Golurk, and Ditto. And if he doesn't bring... Uh, the Ditto, I'm assuming he might bring Gudra, but I think he's going to lead off with Mew. Um, I'm probably going to lead... I'm going to lead off with Nidoqueen, try to get Rocks up, and we'll kind of play it from there. Um, I got a few tricks up my sleeve this time, so we'll kind of see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't end up as bad as last week. We're trying to get our first win here, and that's really what we need to do. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get connected with Squid, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Alright, we are finally back. We are finally connected with Blazing Squid. Um, I don't know why I did a peace sign whenever I disappeared for like five minutes there. I didn't go anywhere. Still here. But we're going to go ahead and select our team here. Um, I'm starting to get kind of tired. It's late. No, I don't want to use that team. That's old PBL team. We're not going Season 4 game right here. Uh, like I said, we are going with Swallow. Needle Queen, Infernape like usual. Infernape's been a big staple. Uh, we're gonna have Chansey, Primarina, and Hydreigon. We want this Hydreigon. All right, so that's what we want for our team. So I'm really interested to see what he's gonna bring. So I know he's a pretty good competitive battler. If you guys haven't checked him out, make sure you guys do go subscribe to him. I will leave a link to his Twitter, his YouTube channel, and any other social media stuff he has. So just make sure you guys go check him out. I greatly appreciate it. Show him some love. And hopefully he doesn't uh, whoop me too hard here. And like I said, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Um, hopefully some things he's not going to expect, some things he's not going to plan for. Um, I've also planned for some things he thinks I'm going to plan for, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm, if, I, if I start losing some more, I'm going to slowly lose confidence in my battling skills. I know last year was pretty much just for fun. Uh, this year, I'm hoping to do a lot better. I'm hoping to learn a lot more. Um, that, that's all this is, is the learning experience. Definitely need to participate in some either offline leagues or some more online leagues and kind of figure out... Uh, what battle style works best for me and as far as planning just taking the time and doing it because that is one of my um, Biggest downfalls is just time management That's just life in general time management kids make sure you have time management. It will benefit you greatly All right, so he is bringing the Mew. He's bringing Empoleon Silvalli Rotom heat All right, so he's gonna bring Rotom heat Let's put him on the layout. Uh, where's he at? Um, why am I lost here? It's Wash Rotom. I guess he's probably up here. There he is, Heat Rotom. Put him on the layout. Make him a little bigger there. And he didn't bring. Thunderous, which is kind of surprising. I thought for sure he was going to bring Thunderous. He brought a uh, Empoleon instead, which is fine. Let me find Empoleon here. There we go. Now we got the layout all nice and squared away there. So we are going to lead 
Uh, I might lead with Nurse Joy and try to set up. Oh, I don't have a Toxic Spice. I just have Toxic. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and lead with uh, Beyonce here. You see, she's holding the Water MZ. That's because I have Surf attached. I'm assuming he's probably gonna lead with the Mew. Uh, so we, I don't think we would be able to eat a sidekick from the Mew. We might be able to. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I definitely want to get the Stealth Rock set up for sure. Alright, what's going on here? It's being real slow. White screen, white screen, there it goes. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Randward. Alright, so let's see if he predicted our Needle Queen. No, he didn't. Went out with the Golurk. Which is fine. I don't know why this is being slow today. It's like the 2DS is just like lagging. Alright, there we go. So, um... I'm actually just going to go ahead and rock a Z-Power Surf to start off. I don't think he's going to... I think he's going to expect rocks. I probably should have just went for rocks. But I'll sacrifice rocks for a Z-Power Surf. So, I mean, he could switch out. Um, I'm really interested to see what his Sil Valley is. I don't I don't think he's expecting this right now, to be honest. Z Power Surf should uh wipe him out. Oh my god, it doesn't. Are you kidding me? You stealth rock. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and just throw up a We'll go for uh I'll just go for another Surf, because we do about speed. Unless Z-Move... I don't think Z-Moves take precedence, do they? Z-Moves don't always go first. If they do, I'm going to feel real stupid, but I think Golurk's pretty slow. From what I what I know, which isn't a lot, as you guys can see. So he could be switching out to Empoleon right now, uh, which is fine. It's got salt and pepper. Alright, Napoleon, I could have predicted that. Surf won't do too much damage. Um, I probably could have went. He's Napoleon's probably going to have Earthquake. If I had to guess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks. Even if Needle Queen does go down, we do have a lot to combat. the uh, the water type weakness on his team. So if I, if I get a stealth rock up um, and then probably an earth power might not be bad. I'm just trying to avoid switching out and taking damage. Uh, I can switch out to Hydreigon because he has levitate and won't take any damage. I do have shockwave on Hydreigon. So that, that might be a good play. Alright, so we do get Stealth Rock off. He's going for a Scald, so that's going to be super effective. We live it. So, we know we outspeed. I'm going to go for Earth Power, so... Unless, I don't know if Rotom Heat is going to have Levitate. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not good at Pokemon. Let me uh look it up here. Pink slime and he went out to Mew. Mew's probably gonna have levitate. But we do get that damage. 
Oh, Mew does not have Levitate. That's fine. It does have... Leftovers, though. Alright. So... I don't think we... Let me look up here. Alright, so... Do... We're not going to outspeed Mew. I feel like there's no point in switching, to be honest. Because 4 HP, it's just going to lose. It's just going to lose that 4 HP. Um, so we know it's got Dazzling Gleam, which means I do not need to send out Hydreigon against it. Alright, so Mew... We want to send out... Let's hope he doesn't have a Thunderbolt. I'm probably going to U-turn out and switch into Chansey, maybe. Or Primer. No, Primarina is probably a better choice. I'm going to U-turn and switch out to Primarina. So let's see if he expects this u-turn he did it's fine it's going back out the salt u-turn's not going to do a whole lot to it but now we can switch out to high dragon and hit it with a shockwave i keep grabbing my mouse like i'm going to select it on my screen i'm not playing showdown today uh yeah let's go out to dragon also, let me know if you guys would be interesting in, interested in seeing Pokemon Showdown live streams. Uh, just kind of me playing random battles and just kind of doing whatever. So, I don't know if he's going to expect the Shockwave. I'm going to assume he's probably going to have Ice Beam or something like that, which we should be able to eat up an Ice Beam. So, this battle is already going better than last, in my opinion. He still has all six Pokemon. I don't have my Needle Queen anymore. So I really need to take out one of his Mons. He's been switching between Mew and Empoleon. Because those are pretty good checks for my whole team. And Hydreigon definitely outspeeds Mew. To my knowledge. Uh, maybe... No, I don't. Hmm. I think my only other option would probably be to go out to Primarina and hit it with an Aqua Jet and hope it doesn't have a, uh... Thunder... Thunderbolt or something. Which it probably does. It's got Dazzling Gleam. And what else did it have? I already forgot. Should have wrote it down. So he's going out to Ditto which is salty. It's going to use Imposter, which is fine. Shockwave isn't going to affect it, but we are scarfed in. It's Imposter with leftovers. So... Um... I think I'm gonna have to switch out to High Dragon and go for a Mock Punch. Because if he goes for a Dark Pulse or whatever, he'll be locked in. Oh, he withdrew. Alright, so this appears to be a Fairy type Silvalli. Yeah, it's definitely fairy type. So what we want to do is that's why I really needed Beyonce to stay alive. Um, I might switch out to Pre Marina here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch out to Pre Marina. I should have left uh, Poison Jab. 
on Invernape. I knew he was going to bring that fairy type, Silvelli. So definitely a lot of switch-ins in this battle. Which is, isn't a terrible thing. We're both trying to just capitalize on someone's mistake. Air Slash, okay. It's fine, we eat that. So, I want to go ahead and just go for... Um... Uh, let me see here. Look at the summary. We are very invested in special attack here. So, I think... Let's see, he could switch out to Empoleon, which is going to resist just about anything. I do. So I don't know if I want to go for Hyper Voice, or if I want to go for a Scald, if I want to go for an Aqua Jet. I'm just going to go for a Scald, because if he switches out to... Oh, he's Parting Shot. Okay, that's fine. He's dropped my special attack. A little bit. He switches out to Empoleon. We might at least maybe get a burn off. I gotta get rid of this Empoleon. So, and that may mean... Uh, second off somebody. I'm just gonna go into Nurse Joy here, and we are going to T-Wave it. And use Seismic Toss. So we poisoned us. We avoided. I'm going to hit him with the T-Wave. To kind of put his Empoleon in check. I think T-Wave most of his team. I don't know why I didn't think about that on one of my original switch-ins. I forgot I had Chansey, to be honest. She's so fat, how could you miss her, though? Alright, let's see what he's going to do here. Um, he might... He could switch out to Ditto. I really don't know what he's going to do. We're just, we're just going to wait and see. I'll be just as surprised as you guys are. Like I said, competitive battling, not one of my strong suits. I'm getting better, getting worse in some spots. Alright, so he's going to withdraw again. And that's fine. we we'll get that T-Wave off. So that's, that's a big thing right there. So it's going to use leftovers. I don't know if I just want to use Seismic Toss or if I'm going to try to switch into Infernape. We're just going to go for one Seismic Toss and kind of see how he plays it. Because by the time I'd switch out to Infernape, he would switch out into Empoleon. Um, and actually, he's going to withdraw. So, I mean, we're going to get 50 damage off on whatever he brings out, which is Golurk. Seismic Toss is not going to affect it. Psych. Boy. I'm going to switch out to Swallow here in case he goes for Earth type move or Shadow Claw or something. Jesus, that does so much damage. Are you kidding me? We don't survive the Dynamic Punch. All right. That's interesting. I'm trying to think. If I switch to Hydreigon, he has Silvalli Fairy, which is like is pretty much who he's gonna switch out to. I feel like my best bet is to go out to I'm just going to go out to Jackie Chan and I'm going to Earthquake these motherfuckers. Gen 1 style. So 
So I use Earthquake. Um, there's not really anything you could switch into to combat that. And we're going to add speed. So I should at least be able to take out his Golurk. Unless he switches out. Which I don't see any point in switching out. Because you're just going to add more damage. And then Golurk would probably die on a switch in. Alright. He switched out. Saltiest. Which is his Rotom Heat. And he has Levitate. So neat. It's good play. Good play. Um. It's Electric Fire. Uh, let me look up Rotom Heat. See if we outspeed here. So I might just go for a close combat or a, or actually we're choice in, so never mind, it doesn't matter. Let's switch out to Gemini here. Uh, we do got speed though. He probably knows that we're choice at this point. Volt switch. We do. With that, so who's he going to send out? I'll probably have to swap back out. Now I know he's got that Volt Switch. At this point, I'm about to just risk... Going for an Aqua Jet to get some damage down. The freaking Leftovers, man. It might be in my best interest to hit it with the Aqua Jet. Even if he switches out. This is the thing, is if he switches out. Cause I know we don't speed I'm just going for Aqua Jet. Fuck it. That way I can get some damage. Use defog, I already got rid of our stones. So I know we're not gonna outspeed. But I don't really have anything else I could do. I go for another Aqua Jet. At least get a little bit of damage off. He's going to recover with Leftovers. Um, I don't know. We'll go with Scald. I should have went with Scald the first time. Yeah. I got to get rid of this Mew. I don't have Swallow, so I don't have U-Turn. Um, I could go out to hide. I'm about to have to go to High Dragon and use Dark Pulse, which he's probably gonna switch in. Which I mean, that's just I got a play I gotta take. Is have him switch out. But if he's gonna switch out, I know he's got Dazzling Gleam, so it's almost. It's like I almost need to go for Dark Pulse, have him switch out, and do nothing to Fairy Type Sil Valley. Or I take a risk, he goes for Dazzling Gleam, and I go for Dragon Pulse. And probably kill it. Um. I'm just gonna go for Shockwave. Because, alright, he withdraws. That way, Salt is his Sil Valley. That way, I'm gonna at least do some damage. And then I'm gonna have to switch out. Go out to Nurse Joy. See if I can T Wave it. Or T Wave or Toxic. I don't know which is gonna be better. Parting Shot, that's fine. I can T-Wave or Toxic, whatever he brings in. And he's just, his whole team's just gonna get... Alright, so he knows he can't... Uh, I did not... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the info on Softboiled and it click Softboiled.
That's why you don't use your fingers, you use a stylus. Ah, I am an idiot. Man. Just gonna go for Flare Blitz. Worst thing comes to worst, he switches out to Rotom Heat. And I get not very not very effective damage. Let me look up who we're battling next week. It appears we are battling Vars76 next week. Alright, we at least get one Pokemon to die. I don't even care if I'm damaged by the recoil. I'm choiced in, so it's like I have two Pokemon that are choiced. see who he's going to bring out. This has actually been quite a long battle. I do have time i got to cut out for waiting to connect to him, but still, it's been every bit of 20 minutes. So Rotom Heat, that's fine. Um, oh, he's got Volt Switch. He's going to have... We're going to switch out to a Dragon. Unless he has something wild on Rotom Heat. I would assume probably Flamethrower, Volt Switch. Right, so we should, we're going to eat up that Volt Switch. And then I've got free range to use any move on whatever he brings in, which is probably going to be the Fairy Type Sil Valley. But he could bring something out and get me to attack, get me choiced in, and then switch out, and then I gotta switch out. Which is probably what he's gonna do. It's imposter ditto. Which low key, I'm probably just gonna. Hmm. I mean, we'll just go for a Dragon Pulse. He'll switch out. I'll be locked into Dragon Pulse. Is what it is. Probably should have went for Shockwave again. This is pretty much just switching in until I can either somehow get a shot on him or he gets a shot on me. Which I'm about to just say fuck it and throw in the towel. So there we go. That that's gonna do it. All he has to do is take out High Dragon. Cause all I can use is Shockwave on it. That's all I have. Um, I honestly should have left Poison Jab on Infernape, and I probably should have switched my items around here. Which I still have Flamethrower. Um, if I can use Flamethrower. We get the burn, but I mean, it's not going to do a whole lot. He's going to use Parting Shot, which is different. I don't know why he didn't stay in. So now I'm locked into Flamethrower. He's probably going to send out Rotom Heat, or he could send out Imposter Ditto, because Flamethrower is not going to be effective. He'll send out Mew. I'll probably go for Dazzling Gleam, because he knows I'm locked in. It doesn't really matter. At this point, he's just kind of toying with me, so choiced in. Go for the flamethrower, see what kind of damage it does. Absolutely fucking nothing, but we're getting burns left and right. This could have 
came in handy a while ago. Man. 0 and 3, boys. We're 0 and 3. GG's. That was a that was a pretty solid battle. Um pretty much once I don't even know what the turning point in in that battle was. It was just back and forth, back and forth until someone slipped or someone just couldn't react. I needed to get rid of his Empoleon or that Mew a lot faster than I actually did. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Always leave comments down below. Um, let me know your guys' suggestion. Man, just hit me up. Send me, send me a message on Twitter or something if you guys want to help me uh, get better at what I do. Um, I always appreciate it. I always appreciate feedback. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.